Now to a Detroit senior reaching out to help me Hank with a phone issue that she says is affecting her personal safety. The longtime AT&T customer is having big problems with her home phone and that in turn is affecting her home security system. She called Hank to investigate. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live tonight. So Hank, go through what the problem is here. Yeah, I mean, and it is a very serious problem. There were outages with AT&T customers in this neighborhood last time, but this one seems a little bit more isolated. It's not just affecting her home phone. As you'll see, it's also affecting her home security. What has this been like for you? Hectic. Janet Johnson reaching out to help me, Hank. She's got a big problem. Her home phone, it's not working. But it's not just her phone, it's also tied to her home alarm. From a security standpoint, too, that, that home phone is important to you and that line. Right, because, see, I have an alarm. Okay. And their signal comes through the phone. Okay. And if there's no phone that's active, it won't come through the cell. It has to come through the landline. Yeah. They can't get the call. Yeah. So, they so it's call concerning. Me it yeah. is. Yeah. The problems for Janet, she said, started several weeks ago. She says she's been in touch with AT&T over and over and over again, but she can't get this problem solved. When you've reached out to AT&T, uh, what has that been like? Well, you know, I start with one person, and then they'll transfer me to someone else. I've even talked to a manager, and then I'll get someone else. I can talk to three or four people on one phone call. And she's been a long-time customer. How long have you been an AT&T customer? Since I was about 22 years old. So I reached out to AT&T, working to get to the bottom of this. What is going on? I received this statement today. We are working to restore service to this customer as quickly as possible. We appreciate you bringing this to our attention. Back out here live, so we know that AT&T has now made contact with the customer, working to figure out exactly what happened here, and that was the goal. We wanted to make sure that it's got to the right people. Now the problem is being addressed. Of course, it's something we're going to stay on top of to make sure that the issue is fully resolved. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. Okay, Hank, thank you.